Hello guys and welcome back to the How to Animate YouTube channel. And it's going to be episode 3 of this dev blog for Lipseed. So Lipseed is just a little Unreal game that I've been working on in my spare time, just to learn the engine a bit better. Uh, so as you can see I've done quite a bit of work off camera, uh, mostly this uh, very quick art test just to test the pipeline mostly and make sure I can do a multi-plane thing similar to what I did in Unity. Um, so yeah, it turned out okay. Um, I've also done quite a bit of work on the jump. If you caught the last episode, you'll see how I hooked that up. Um, so that's looking a lot smoother now. I've also given the ability to uh, jump various heights, depending on how long you hold the jump button for. So if you just tap, you get a little one. And the longer you hold, the bigger the jump. So that's starting to feel quite nice now. Uh, I've also added the ability to dash in midair, just to give a little bit more distance. Uh, so this will look better once effects go on it and also she can attack now so I've added a basic two hit combo here I'm planning on doing a few more attacks uh, gradually getting more elaborate um, but for now I just thought okay I'm just gonna get a couple in and again this will look a lot better once the attacks are in uh, at the moment the attacks are quite short I'm gonna put some swiping effects in front of her just to give her a bit more reach so yeah, this was going to be originally a tutorial on how to set up this combo here. Um, but to be honest, it ended up being about 50 minutes long. And most of it was spent me fumbling through the blueprints trying to get it to work. So now it's all working, I think it would be far more beneficial if I just talk you through the steps of how I got it working. Okay, so let's get going. So the first thing I did was reanimate the combo here. As I'd look at the old animations, they weren't really cutting it, so to speak. So went ahead and reanimated just the two hit combo, left and right. So when I go ahead and do uh, more hits to the combo, I'll basically just follow the same pattern of left and right and it should all work nicely. So this is what the animation would look like if uh, it doesn't go back to idle. So basically from here I would need to uh, separate these two animations off into combo one and two and actually have that return to idle within the animation itself. and then it will be up to the player to decide whether to continue the combo or to return back to idle. Okay, so for example, this is the first hit of the combo. So just simply exported this and put it into Unreal. So guys, after exporting the animation, you see them here, combo one, combo two, had to create anim montages out of them. So simply right click and go to create anim montage and that will create your two new files here. If we have a look at combo one and play it, you see we've got him attacking and going all the way back to idle. And we've got some notifiers down here, so save attack and reset combo. I'll discuss these a bit later on. And the first thing to do here was to create a slot for these two attacks. Um, so over in here, just add slot and set that to attacking. So I'm going to reference that within the animation blueprint here. Okay, so if you saw the last episode, you know that I created the loco. So it's basically her idle walk run, a sprint, a jump and all that stuff lives within Loco. Um, so I cache that off. So if you want to create a cache out of something, you just type new and uh, new saved cache pose. Okay, so that creates that. We then reference that. So I used the Loco cache and mixed it with the attacking slot that I just created to create Loco attacking cache. So I've got those two things here I can actually reference. So what I wanted to do is have her be able to attack and run at the same time. So I've done that with a layered blend per bone here. And fed loco cache into the base pose and loco attack cache into this one. Okay, so that allows me to play the animation just from her root one bone here. So to set this up, you just go down to create new layer and you have to make sure that your bone name is accurate. Um, so make sure you copy that off a hierarchy, otherwise it won't work. Great. So next thing I wanted to do was give her the ability to attack and not move. So when you hit the attack button and you're not moving, you play the entire full body animation. Otherwise it would look really weird if her legs just stopped working. Um, so to do that, I used a blended pose by ball. And that required a is moving variable. So I quickly set that up over here. So off of our get velocity and vector length, this is where we get our speed. Uh, I've created a sequence just to branch off into the other stuff over here. 
but basically if the speed is more than zero then we are moving goes to true and is moving is set so basically that loads in there and then we can put it into this and this all works fine a couple more things I needed to do to get this working uh, I needed to actually create those notifiers and this is how I did it so I did try for ages to do this on my own but couldn't quite work it out so I ended up following a tutorial uh, which I'll leave a link to in the description uh, very thankful for people putting this information out there too. so I'll quickly talk you through what's going on here created a couple of new balls so it is attacking and save attack and create an integer over here and this is basically reset combo and save combo attack custom events which basically sets everything back to zero so if we push the button and the condition is we are attacking then we can go to save attack if not then we're going to set is attacking to true and we come down into an integer um, so this basically allows me to create a unlimited chain combo so every time we push the button it will flip over to the next one uh, if we don't push the button then it will revert back to zero so here we can just add as many pins as we want you can add as many integers as we want down here and this is where you plug in your actual animation here so you just select which montage you want to play right so if we have a look at the montage again you'll see we have these notifiers here so it calls it from here so basically to do this you just right click and add new notify new notify and put it on there so save attack is basically when the player can push the button to initialize the next part of the combo if they haven't done that then we go back to reset combo so the next time they push the button they'll just play in the first one and that guys is pretty much it so guys that brings this episode to a close i hope you was able to follow along and actually learn something uh, i'm certainly learning a load as an animator you don't really get to mess around with the blueprints too much usually you're more in the state machines and everything else is set up for you by designers and programmers so it's really nice to learn that aspect of it um, so in the next episode I plan on trying to do a wall jump so I think it'll be really cool for her to be able to leap off walls I might try and do something quite elaborate with that and maybe have her do a flip of some sort and yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll see you in the next one thanks for watching